So today I will be sharing with you two sewing makes and the first one is a skirt and it is Simplicity 8175 and this is what it looks like and I am not exactly sure what kind of fabric this is but I really like it. It reminds me of like a tweed but I'm not really sure. It's some type of woven and this skirt came together really really easily for me. It was quick and um it might be because I made the pants version so I kind of knew what to expect in a sense but yeah it was not hard to put together at all it does have an invisible zipper in the back then there are two pockets in the front and I did use some scraps in the pocket I love using scraps whenever I can so this is just a little seersucker fabric and then there are two darts in the back there aren't any darts in the front but in the front there is a little split in the front which I really like and I love that this has pockets I thought that that was so cute so yes that is my first sewing make to share today now my second sewing make I have to look down because I have a clipboard down here with all my notes on it so my second one is McCall 7991 I made view B which calls for an elastic in the waist but I decided to leave the elastic out. And I really love this little dress. So this is the dress and I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I really really liked it. And one thing I forgot to mention is I decided to make these pink garments because back in October during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, my church was having Sundays where they wanted all the members to wear pink. And I realized that my wardrobe was lacking in pink garments. So I was like, oh, I don't have a pink dress. I don't have a pink skirt. I did have a pink top, but yeah. I didn't have very many things to wear so I thought well let me make a couple of garments so I made these two and who knows next year I may make more but I thought that this would at least give me a little head start and so next year when breast cancer awareness month comes back around I'll be a little more prepared so anyway yes so I made this uh, dress and it does have a wrap front and it's really really easy to put together and I love the fabric, it's nice, it's kinda has a little weight to it, and then it has a little texture, a little print in there. I like it so much. One thing I will have to say is the fabric that, the fabric on the back of the pattern that it tells you to get, the amount that it tells you to get, it will require, if you get that amount, once you get ready to cut out your skirt pieces, it will tell you to cut out one piece and then flip it over and cut out the other piece. Even though that pattern piece, which is number nine, is meant to be cut on the fold. So if you want to have your fabric cut on the fold instead of flipping it over and all that, then I would just recommend buying a little more fabric. I didn't buy extra fabric, which is why I have a center seam here and a center seam in the back and so had I bought more fabric I believe that center seam wouldn't be there those center seams wouldn't be there because I would cut on the fold so I actually would prefer to not have the center seams um, it looks okay but I would have liked it better without the center seam so if I ever make this again I will make sure I get a, a little more fabric so that I can cut it out on the fold instead of having to do it the way that they recommend in the in the pattern but yeah that is it i am really really crazy about this dress i am so happy i like the way it fits it's kind of got a form fitting you know thing going on so i like that so yeah i'll go ahead and show you what these two garments look like on
so those are my two sewing makes and before I go I want to leave you with a love share so my love share for today is Earl Haas which is spelled H AAS so I think I'm saying that right he was an American physician who was the inventor of the tampon which is marketed as Tampax isn't that something I thought that that was so interesting yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below